Hello and welcome to the Jekyll Hyde Club and our real metal jewelry hall. It's a fantasy-esque hall because it's wizards, castles, fairies, mushrooms, all kinds of fun, fantastical items. And this is today's order of business. Now that the meeting has been called to order, we will review real metals jewelry in this current hall. Now, I love this company, and if you've seen our former videos, you have seen me show other items from um, the company, like steampunk stuff and dragons and other items that they have. Um, they have a very wide range of stuff. Um, anything from fantasy to goth to Halloween to aliens to just like whatever you can think of. And they're very solid, well-made pewter. Um, they give you a nice chain. This is how it comes displayed. This is the first pendant we're gonna show and I haven't worn it yet. So it's kind of um, still on its display card. And that's how they come. And um, they're very solid pewter, just like Alchemy Gothic or um, a lot of the other popular companies. And they're just as 3D detailed and big and solid and way less expensive. So I really love them. And they have free shipping for the U.S. and out of the U.S. It's really still not that expensive. Um, you can always use a coupon code on their site and get 20% off. So the necklaces that are priced at like 13 or 10 and the earrings that are priced at 10 would be like 7 or something. It's just amazing. And I have had some of their pieces for a while and I wear it and I, you know, have never had any problems with it. So it's just great. Um, I love 3D stuff, and this fairy is very 3D and detailed. Um, you can see her hair and her face and her wings. And she has a nice paint on the wings. And the mushroom is very detailed, too. I love it. You see her legs more in the front here, but you do see the mushroom. And in the back, you get more mushroom view. Yes, such a fat cappy. <laughs> yes. And I just think the fairy on the mushroom is very charming. Um, they have a lot of witchy type stuff, too. Like pentacles and um, I did another review that has a wizard on a spell book that I really love because it's a big solid book and not a wizard on a spell book I'm sorry a pentacle on a spell book I'm about to show a wizard holding a spell book so I have my head all screwed around but let's show these gargoyles first this is still witchy because it's a gate that looks like a pentacle or pentagram um, and it's these gargoyle it's called gargoyle gatekeepers if you're looking it up but they're very 3D and nice, and they remind me of my gargoyle base that I bought when I got the Hunchback figure, and I bought an action figure just for the base because I'm eccentric like that and I love gargoyles. And I traded the Hunchback to a friend and kept the base because that's what I wanted, so it all worked out, everybody. But anyway, these gargoyles don't have wings, and the Hunchback base doesn't have wings, so these are like the few wingless gargoyles we have, but they're really cool. And I love the concept of a gatekeeper and there's two of them and it seems all protective. And um, it's unique to me how the pentacle is made like a gate. So that's nice and it's a good solid size. I think that most of their jewelry, like this piece and a lot of the others are unisex. Um, they have some that are just geared toward, you know, mainly one or the other, but you know, anybody can wear whatever they want. So now this is the pendant that had me miss speaking when I said wizard and spell book because this is a very nice wizard. He has a big gazing ball and he's holding a spell book. Should I adjust the angle, Gomez? Yes, a little higher. Good. And um, Real Metal, um, they put their stamp on it, but it's not like one of those obvious places that kind of ruins the effect where some companies stamp themselves all over everything. Um, on the fairy pendant, for example, it was on the back of the mushroom stem. And here, the wizards, um, you can't really see it, but the stamp is like back here. So it's just like not really obtrusive. That's really nice. Um, so you've got him holding the gazing ball and the spell book. Is the spell book showing, Gomez? Uh, no, we have to turn him this away. Oh, yes, now we can see the beautiful pentagram on it. This jewelry itself has been difficult to film with our lighting. We had to do it once before and Las Vera was kind enough to tell us it did not show as like we thought it did, so we're redoing it. Which is really good to know. Because, so we want to send you a shout out if you happen to be rewatching this and say thank you very much. Beautiful wizard. Yes, he's nice. And let's see, what else do we have? What am I going to pull out of the bag? Oh, that could be a good tagline. <laughs> um, 
this is a um, no this is a castle it's got a little faceted like ball in the turret of the castle and it's got stars all over it it's kind of it's called a magic castle I think on their site and I have some castle charms but it's harder to find bigger castle pendants so this is nice and most of them are 3d on the back but this one is only a little like the other wizard but it's still really raised on the front and it's a nice size now these should all be ten dollars with a discount because they're 13 and then you get a discount code they are on Etsy and Amazon and eBay and their own site realmetaljewelry.com and we're gonna give you guys the links to all of them in case anybody does shopping rewards and you prefer to shop on one over another this is another fairy and she is kind of sitting among the stars and she is 3d aka double-sided people say double-sided but to me that means the same thing as on both sides and if you see their back and their front it's technically only 3d and not double-sided and jewelry sites like fire mountain that are big pros do that and it's a beef for me i didn't like it it's not accurate so that is her she's a lighter weight pendant they have large ones and smaller ones not tiny i mean she's not little she would be too heavy to me for a charm bracelet but she is smaller than the other fairy um so you know they have different sizes and the reason i bring that up is in comparison they have something smaller like that and then they have this wizard they call it wizard offering pentacle and he is like three inches and he actually came on a chain but i had him on a cord because the um other necklace i was wearing it with it would have been hitting it so i had to remove him from his chain for a minute and put him on a cord so that i could wear him longer and he's very detailed he's got the full body thing he's 3d if you turn him around to the back you can see well if, when i turn him around you can see his back and he's the same price he's very good solid heavy pewter and you can see at the bottom his little wizard boots little pointed wizard boots are poking out <laughs> i just love the pointed shoes so much um, Gomez doesn't have any yet. I have one little pair of witchy shoes, but we haven't found Gomez any good ones. Witchy shoes! He needs to have manly witchy <laughs> points. <laughs> and, you know, you can see the details of the robe even here on the sleeves, like with his arms raised, you can see. Hopefully you can see it now. <laughs> even so, his beard shows. Yes. yes, he's one of my favorite pieces. He's really nice. And I think he is our final one. And that was what we got in this last haul. Um, but they have everything. They have bracelets, belt buckles, earrings, I think maybe rings. Um, they have a com uh, brooches, like pins. They have comedy tragedy one I want to get for Gomez eventually because I made him one, but I'm sure theirs is better because I was using a little charm. So, um, yeah, they're just, they have great stuff. Gargoyles. I love these. I just love gargoyles. And this is a nice, unique design. They have a lot of unique designs. Um, and if you guys have seen a lot of times on sites, people just kind of seem to reproduce the same design and theirs are very different. I have that problem with a lot of the fairy designs. They're just kind of all sitting in the same pose and um, real metal is just unique. So I can't rave about them enough. They're great customer service, prompt shipping, et cetera, et cetera. So if you guys are new, check out our past real metal hauls and our other cool jewelry videos and other hauls. And this is falling. <laughs> and um, until next time. Try to enjoy the daylight.